let's work with the content in our CSS layout. We'll come back to the CSS styles later, so I'm going to leave these here. Usually the first thing that you're going to want to do is change your header. I actually have a masthead that I've created, so I'm going to delete this insert logo and I'm going to insert an image. And this would be the same anywhere that you wanted to insert the image. And I have this one saved right here. It's called masthead. I'll hit open and I'll save it to my site route. I'm going to replace it. Alternative text, alternate text, this is what will display or be read for browsers for the blind. Um, so this is going to be sites by Seamus and it's Seamus in Ireland. And so Seamus is a stuffed sheep and that's our masthead image. Now this is, comes with all sorts of directions which you should be able to read. Um, I think it's interesting here to look at the split view and I do a lot of my editing in split view. I'm going to close the CSS si styles for right now. If you highlight in here it will show up you need to go to source code because source code is your HTML code and you can see the actual divisions and this is important because when we did the CSS the container the CSS for the container describes everything in the container. The first thing in the container is the header, which has this image. Then we have the sidebar, which is right there. We have an aside, which is in the sidebar. And then this text here, the above links, is right here. So I'm not going to need any of this text. We actually don't need the whole aside, which contains the text. But I do want to keep sidebar 1. When I delete that, now you have to click over here to update it. So that has my links. Now we have the article class content. That's the main content. We don't need anything in this content. And the sections here with the gray lines are bre breaking it into, that's breaking it into sections, which we don't need. So we want to make sure to delete everything but not the end of the car content. And notice it's an article class and an article is something that can be republished elsewhere. So if you wanted to do an RSS feed you'd leave it that way. Right now I'm making this an empty page. But never delete your ending parts. So we have our sidebar, we have the article which is our main content, we have the footer which I can delete. We've got an address area in the footer. I just want the footer plane. So we've got the end of the container. This is the end of the footer. End of the body, end of HTML. So all that I've left in here is the actual links which I could change at any point to what I want them to say. So if I were to have an area here that were going to take me to um, sample sites, if I type that in, that'll change this here. If I had an actual page address, I would put that in here or with this area selected and the HTML section selected, you can just put a link in right here. Rather than typing, I would usually copy and paste. This pound sign just takes you back to the same page that you're currently on. And we'll get into this in a different tutorial. But you can also just go and type over here, sample sites, services authored, etc., etc. You can type in your content here. We can add content to the main content area and there's different types of content. My initial content here, heading one, you should always have a heading one describing what your page is about. And this I would just list as sites by Seamus. And then I would have a bunch of paragraph content. And so I could add more 
content there and you're seeing as I hit enter I'm getting empty paragraph tags. I can also add my content to the footer. This shows you where the footer content is. And so you can go into each of your areas and add content as you desire to preview in the browser you can hit F12 or you can go into view and you can go into I'm sorry file preview and browser and I'll look at it in Firefox it will always make you save first and you can see what the actual website looks like.